hello dear friends i hope you are doing well at this short video tutorial we're gonna talk about a point about clash detection so first of all i launch clash detective and then in the current project which is map installations i wanna run a test then i assign the name between ducts and in the pipes for example for running the clash detection process then i choose the two sections then I specify the tolerance at 0.05 or 5 centimeters. Then I run the test. Actually, I'm gonna talk about the reports that the that we are given by the clash detection tests, and also about the approaches that we have. After running the clash detection test, as you can see in the reports, we are given 250 three clashes here if i open report tab we got different types of report formats in the, the drop down list uh, two of them are frequently used one of them is html and the another one is as viewpoints here if i specify as viewpoints as the report format then i write the report then wait for a second then all of the clashes will be given to us in the safe viewpoints as the reports for the, this clash detection test. I open ducts and pipes. As you can see, we can get access to the clashes in the project which are given to us in saved viewpoints by this way but what about the another format which was html i mean it creates a web page for you after specifying the report format i click on write report then i should specify the file path of my html file save let's check it out the clashes between pipes and ducts then here if i open the web page we will be given the clashes and also the viewpoints but this is just a web page and in order to have informative presentations we can convert this to pdf file here as you can see we got accurate reports for example the clashes between the each of the elements the distance the date created the clash point for example ahu supplier and the another element is exhauster and then here as i told you we can convert it into a pdf file by using some of the softwares that enables you to convert the web pages into the with pdf files and then you can share the pdf files with your employers or clients let me show you the result by this way this is the pdf file so then you can send it to your clients or employers if you're interested in how to run a clash detection test in navisworks and also want to be a skilled in navisworks you can register my comprehensive navisworks course and then elevate the quality of your works and the presentation so don't let this opportunity pass you by and click on the link in the caption